Okay, so go back to where you're doing your problems or if you're doing them on a separate sheet of paper, that's fine. I would like you to label this practice problems day two. Okay, so we've only done one example. So we're gonna do seven practice problems. This is gonna be our very first one, okay? We're gonna walk through this one together, but uh, slowly I'm gonna be turning you loose, okay? Again, no naked variables. Therefore, we're using elimination. Therefore, we stack. Now all of a sudden I look at this and I think, ugh, nothing matches up. Well, but I bet you most of you notice, oh, I bet you I can get that six and that two to match up. But remember, I don't just want it to match up, I want it to match up with opposite signs, okay? So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna multiply this bottom equation by three, okay? Not gonna mess with the top equation at all, but I'm gonna rewrite it over here. Be writing this down with me. 6x minus 2y equals 1. If you're having a hard time keeping up, just push pause. And get, get each step with me. Okay, now here we go. Negative 3 times 2x is a negative 6x. Negative 3 times a positive 3. Dang it. Negative 3 times a negative 3 is a positive 9y equals negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. Now guess what? That's the piece that most people miss. They'll take it to here, they'll take it to here, but then they don't uh, take it to that third piece, okay? All right, so um, now let's, it should go pretty easy from here. Those guys eliminate. Nice, negative two y plus nine y, it's a positive seven y equals negative 14 y equals negative 2. Okay. Now, I'm going to take my y equals and I'm going to plug it in anywhere here. So here we go. I'm coming right over here. I'm going to plug it in right here. 2x minus 3 times a negative 2 uh, equals 5. Okay, so I took y out of the game, put a negative 2 in the game. Here we go. 2x plus 6 equals 5. Oh, is this going to be our first fraction? It's okay. Going to subtract 6 from each side. Minus 6, minus 6, 2x equals negative 1. Oh, what's x going to equal? x equals negative 1 half. No big deal. That's my answer. Negative one half, some of you guys will put 0 0.5, that's fine. Negative two, bam. Bam. All right, so here we go, problem number two. Two x plus five y equals three. Three x plus 10 y equals negative three. Get that copied down. Okay, now, hmm, interesting here, right? The X's, those aren't, that's, those aren't going to be easy to match up. We could match those up, but those aren't going to be easy to match up. The Y's are definitely going to be a little easier to match up. How are we going to get that to match up? Okay, I need to make that 5 into a 10, but I don't need, it, not just a 10, it needs to be a negative 10, right? So I'm going to kind of cram this in here a little bit too much, but I'm multiplying by a negative 2. Sorry for cramming that in there like that, but here we go. Negative 2 times 2x is a negative 4x. Negative 2 times a positive 5y is a negative 10y. Don't forget to do the last piece. Negative 2 times 3 equals negative 6. Okay, now 3x plus 10y equals negative 3. Okay? I'm going to, I want you guys to push pause and I want you to see if you can take it from there. We should be able to. Okay, how did you do? Well, let's, let's look at it. A negative 4x and 3x is negative 1x. Uh, y's eliminate, right, equals negative 9. Well, then obviously x has to equal 9. 
What do we do with that? We'll come over here. I can plug it into any one of these four equations, guys, okay? I'm just gonna go right here, because it's easy. Three, take X out of the game, put a nine into the game, plus 10Y equals negative three, 10Y plus 27 equals negative three, 10Y equals negative 30, y equals negative 3. I know I did that fast, but I bet you guys are good. I've subtracted 27 from each side, right? And then I divided by 10. Okay, answer, 9, negative 3. Bam. All right, so this is the moment we've been waiting for. You had to know that this time was going to come. We've got no naked variables, we've stacked it, but now what's the problem? Well, dang, there's nothing really simple for me to multiply my x's by. There's nothing really simple for me to multiply my y's by. So what are we gonna do? At this point, this is where you decide. It doesn't matter, you can choose to eliminate the x's or you can choose to eliminate the y's. Uh, my video person, what do you want to eliminate, the x's or the y's? The x's. Okay, so we're gonna, that's my daughter, Tani, running video for me, by the way. Okay, so we're going to uh, eliminate the X's just because that's what Tani chose. It doesn't matter. You can do either one. Okay, so how in the world am I going to eliminate this? Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply my top equation by 5. Why? What's 5 times 3? 15, right? I'm going to multiply my bottom equation by a negative 3. Why? Well, because negative 3 times 5 is a negative 15. My x's are going to match up when I'm done. Okay, watch this. 15x, 5 times negative 7 is a negative 35y equals 5 times 5 is 25. Okay? Uh, negative 3 times 5x is a negative 15x. There it is, okay? Same coefficient, opposite signs. That's what we're looking for, okay? Negative three times a negative nine is a positive 27. Y equals negative three times a negative five is a negative 15. Positive 15, sorry, positive 15. Negative times negative is positive. Okay. Push pause, take it from there. Okay, so hopefully you added these up. Uh, same coefficient, opposite signs, those go away. A negative 35y and a positive 27, that's gonna give you negative 8y, right? 25 plus 15, 40. Divide by negative 8, divide by negative 8, y equals negative 5. Nice. Okay, put it anywhere you want, any of the four equations. I'm just going to come right over here. 5x minus 9 times a negative 5 equals negative 5. 5x plus 45 equals negative 5. You've got to subtract 45 from each side. Okay, 5x equals negative 50 x equals negative 10. Answer, negative 10, negative 5. Bam. All right, peeps, we've actually come a long way in two days, okay? There's problems 4, 5, 6, and 7. And obviously, I've given you the answers there. I want you to do your best, see what you can do. I didn't love how I finished that last video, so I just wanted to just put a little bow on this. Like I said, you're supposed to do those last four problems on your own. Hopefully you can get all the answers by yourself. If you do, that's great. If you're not able to get the answers, uh, call me again Wednesday evening, Thursday, or Friday. So you guys, that it was the day two, okay? So I'll put up another video for Thursday morning, and that'll be day three. Uh, Friday, we'll practice a little bit more. I'm going to throw kind of some harder problems at you Friday. And then when we come back on Monday, I'm going to have a quiz there for you. I'll actually have the quiz up 
uh, at the end of by by Saturday morning or even Friday. But you can either choose to do the quiz on Saturday or you could do it on Monday. I hope this process is working out for everybody. Give me your feedback. Parents, if, if there's something that I'm doing that you don't necessarily like or, or I'm being confusing or something like that, uh, you may call me, 406-651-9072, or you can email me. Students, I really appreciate your effort. I know I've said that three or four times, but this is not easy, and uh, we're all doing our best. So keep slugging away and give me feedback. I'll do whatever I can to make this better for y'all. Peace.